All right, we've got Ramir uh, coming up. Hi, uh, there you go. Hi there, Ramir. Am I saying your name right? And also, what? how old are you? I'm 46. How you been? Oh, I'm doing pretty good. Uh, how are you doing? I'm great. Uh, let me ask you something. Okay. Um, what's your purpose here on Earth? What's my purpose here on Earth? Yeah. I mean, I guess to be as a as a positive of an influence on my, uh, you know, on my relationships and and my community and my society and all. I mean, uh, like purpose is going to be very specific to like a person. Like, you know, I'm a software engineer, so like I've decided one of my purposes is to do software engineering shit. Do you plan to once you leave Earth and once because I know what when I leave earth when i'm practically old and passed away what what, what will you think your thoughts about the afterlife oh when you said leave this earth i was thinking like going to mars like that would be cool to be like you know go to mars and like live on mars because i would definitely want to get the fuck off this planet uh, but uh, as far as the afterlife goes, I don't, I don't believe in the afterlife. At least I don't see any evidence that there is an afterlife. Um, I, I subscribe to the idea that you know our bodies are biological machines that run on energy. Once that energy stops flowing, then that energy just dissipates back into the universe. The only way that I can have any kind of effect after my life is by you know doing things that people are going to remember me for, having positive impacts on people around me. That is the way that like. I can have an effect or, or have any kind of uh, uh, influence on life after I'm right. alive. Uh, right, I, I feel that way. Now, do you believe in aliens? Some sort of... I, I think that it's statistically likely that aliens do exist, but I don't think that there's any evidence to suggest that aliens have visited us or that are anywhere near us in the galactic like system or whatever, like the universe or the solar system or anything right. like that. Okay, so we practically don't have evidence of alien visiting Earth. We practically right, that doesn't mean don't that have evidence. Statistically likely. I, I don't believe that dinosaurs actually roamed Earth because we don't have evidence. They might say, scientists might say, well, oh, we, we got do. bones. Hold on. We definitely have evidence that dinosaurs existed. Right. Scientists say they, they actually said, oh, we found bones. No, 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 not just scientists. They have literal evidence. They have the fossilized uh, material from dinosaurs but, that live. But it's, it's man-made. Yeah. We Where do you think oil comes from, bro? Oil? It comes within Earth. From? <laughs> <laughs> uh, um, yeah, but what is oil made from? What is the process of oil like becoming oil? Minerals. I mean, it comes from organic material, like in the crust of the earth, and ba like basically, you know, forming and and cooking. Or what I'm saying, cooking for a long time, that eventually turns into crude oil. So I mean that, and the the fossil fuels are the remnants of the like you know life way before us uh coal coal is the exact same thing the coal seams that you find in mountains and everything like that those are the uh compressed rem organic remains that have been turned into coal and we know that it didn't happen quickly because there are fertilized roots uh right below coal seams and so that only happens because um, there were plants and animals and all that kind of stuff that were there and got, you know, compressed and everything like that and made coal. So there's uh, fossil fuels are definitely evidence that that dinosaurs existed or at least life on this earth existed prior to that. For specifically dinosaurs, we're looking at fossils and fossils come in various forms, which we could go into this um you know, but I'm I'm guessing that you're a six thousand year old like a six thousand year creationist, right? A young Earth creationist. You think that the dinosaurs existed when we hit the Earth with on a Pangea? Uh, I, there was life. Yeah, there there was life on the planet when Pangea was around. Right. There, okay. So you know that we haven't found any other dinosaurs down, let's say, for example, down in South America, or I in Russia. Or in Russia, I China, no, hold on, South sorry, America. I got to stop you. I don't know what you just said. Like, 
that makes no sense like what you said. Okay, um, the dinosaurs ruled, if, if the dinosaur did exist, it, it existed when the Pangea was, right before the continent separated. No, no, no. The, the, there's, there's very clear, like, there's very clear uh, identifiable ways that we can suss out that dinosaurs and life in general existed uh, prior to Pan, Pangea breaking up. Uh, the, you know, we find the marsupials on on wholly different co uh, continents, which could have only happened if they were on one continent that was connected, and then it split, and then they were on two different continents. And then, you know, there's um, the, the the different ways that we find uh, different uh, similar animals on different continents. Like all of that right there factors into like how life diversified throughout the globe. And so, like that is that is how that happened. I mean, there, there. I mean, definitely, dinosaurs died out uh, due to the mass extinction that happened 65 million years ago. That's what it is. Are you denying that? No, I. Possibly, that's like scientifically speaking. Uh, I kind of weigh at 50 percent. I would say 50 percent. They believe I believe that the dinosaurs did exist because of the scientifically uh, proved that we see. Now, going into what God, the creation of human being, God exists in a way that practically, for the way I feel, is that he doesn't respond to a lot of people. That's why a lot of people don't believe in him. That's why people say, oh, why, if there's a God, why there's a lot of people with cancer or there's a lot of hunger on earth? Well, practically, because what I think is that we are so rebellious. We are so bad. We do sin a lot. So God doesn't manifest into us. We have to actually ask for forgiveness all the time. No, so, so, so none of that actually has any kind of bearing on whether or not God exists. Um, if you want to talk about God's existence, it's fine. Uh, I don't see sufficient evidence for God existing, and it goes way beyond God just not doing anything. Uh, God is not detectable in reality, and if we can't detect God in reality as having an effect on this reality, then there's no reason for us to believe in it. So what would you, be the evidence of God in reality for you? Do you know what I think? There's a lot of gods, like the Greek he says that there's a lot of gods. There's angels out there. Up there. It's not just one. It's like at the beginning, it says, let wait, 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 us... Wait, wait. So, so hold on, are you, are you a Christian? Like, what kind of crazy are you? No, I, I'm open-minded for everybody. I understand people don't believe in God. There's a few of them that don't believe in God. There's, a, there's Christian. I'm just there's trying Christian. to figure out what you believe. And so which God, which God or gods, uh, apparently multiple, do you actively believe in? Like, do you believe in Yahweh God? Do you believe in the Norse gods? Do you believe in... I believe there's a, a higher God? being. Higher being. Okay, what does yeah. that mean? Meaning, like, this... If, if we have a soul, if we have a spirit, we have something that we actually got to respond to, you know what I mean? Okay. I don't know what that means. Um, I, I feel like you've just made up a God in your own mind, and uh, that's the God that you're going with, and it's representative of whatever you want your God to be. Right. Okay. Uh, sorry, I'm really not interested in this particular kind of conversation. I do appreciate you coming up and, you know, talking to me about all the crazy shit with the dinosaurs, but um, I do have a few other people to get to, and I'm hoping to get off the live here in the next 30 minutes, maybe. All right, buddy. All right. There we go. He knew how to exit. Okay. Well, let's just go right down uh, the line.